for Javon, is this a little bit of maybe deja vu from two years ago playing Maryland in the second round? And what do you kind of remember about that game and how y'all shot from three? Yeah, it is kind of. Um, it's kind of crazy, actually. Um, you know, that was a really good game, though. Uh, I think we were in Indiana. And, uh, you know, we shot really well from three. Um, I remember JP, get, JP, you know, kind of started it for us. And, you know, guys were really making shots. And, we, you know, we were probably playing our best basketball this season at that point. All right. Ryan NC, NBC 13 in Birmingham. For Javon, just being in Birmingham, what have you guys done to try to not focus fully on just March Madness, trying to have fun around the hotel and stuff? What has Birmingham treated you guys like this, these past few days? I think we've just been, um, you know, for the most part, hanging out in each other's rooms, playing video games and things like that, watching film, um, recovery with, with uh, our trainer, Clark. So those are some things. Far back, Chris. Mark, I know it's not like a regular season game where you may have a larger allotment of tickets for family and friends, but got a lot of folks coming down to see you from North Alabama. Yes, sir, I do. I have a lot of, uh, lot of folks coming. Front. For Javon, just playing in Birmingham, does it feel more like at home? Or does it, you know, or, or is it just, just the same as any other tournament game because you're not necessarily sleeping in your own bed and all that? No, it does kind of feel like home. I think uh, yesterday, I, it was a lot of crimson in the crowd. And, you know, that's always a good feeling. And, um, yeah, I feel like, you know, it's more of a home home type vibe right down the road from T-Town, so. Back here in the middle. For either player, what was kind of the reaction um, from the team of having the late tip? And is that something y'all would prefer? Would you rather kind of get the game over with early in the day? Um, I, we haven't really spoke about it as a team yet. Um, you know, the late tips are tricky, but, you know, I think we'll be ready to go. In the back. Hey, guys, Ben Reitman, WMEC Sports. What are your early impressions about Maryland, and what are you guys looking to do to stop them on the offensive end? Maryland's a pretty good team pretty good team um very physical you know they play in a really good conference um you know from what we've seen so far on film um you know those guys are going to come ready to play and uh <clears throat> you know they're coached by you know a really good coach and, and Kevin Kevin Willard and um you know we're just looking forward to you know tomorrow night And Javon, you've played against Maryland in the tournament before two years ago. What do you remember about those guys that are still around, Dante Scott, Akeem Hart? What challenges may they present to you guys? Um, I'm pretty sure those guys are going to play with a chip on their shoulder tomorrow. Those are two really good players. And um, you know, that's what I've been telling the team. Like, you know, these guys are, you know, they're going to be ready to play. So we got to, you know, bring the energy. Here up front. Uh, for both players, just with all the shakeup in the south bracket, does that kind of put you guys on a heightened awareness of, of you know, upsets can, can definitely happen? I think we've just been taking one game at a time. We haven't really been looking forward too much. You know, we're just kind of focused on Maryland. Very back. Mark, I know you didn't have the overall shooting tournament you wanted in Nashville, but you had the huge three at the end of the second game, and then the three to start the next game that got things going for your squad. How much did those positive experiences help you with what we saw yesterday from you? Uh, it was good to see the ball fall in in, in those key moments, and that, uh, that led to me having a great start here in Birmingham.
Any more questions in the back? I'll stop after this, I promise. <laughs> JQ, you seem to love the big stage. It's where you seem to have the most fun. Two years ago, that was the case, and, and yesterday, and, and obviously what you did in Nashville as well. What's different in playing in a venue like this as opposed to maybe anything else you play in the regular season? It's a good question, my guy. I feel like, um, you know, it's just a different feeling in there. I've been saying it all week. Like, you know, when March come around, it's a different feeling in the air. Um, you know, just the tension when you walk into practice or, or into film. Like, it's just a different feeling. And, you know, it's just, a, it's just an amazing time of the year. Um, and, you know, all year my teammates just been pumping confidence into me. And they've been telling me, like, you know, we're going to need you. We're going to need you. Postseason plays coming, and you know I just feel like I kind of answered the bell, and um, you know I just got, I'm just around a great group of guys who uh, who um, you know just push me, and uh, you know they're a young group, but you know he's really my guys, and you know I can't I, I give all the credit to my teammates because they they just always they always pushing me even when I was struggling. Speaking of confidence, uh, Brandon didn't have any points, and, and I know there's nursing a groin injury. What have you said, JQ, to him? To he's still a freshman; this is his first time in the NCAA tournament to try to keep him because you're definitely going to need him down the stretch. Yeah, I just told him, you know, hold his head. Um, you know, I like the way he handled it yesterday. Uh, he handled it like a true professional, and um, you know, I told him, look, we're going to need what you've been bringing us all year to, uh, tomorrow night, and um, you know. I'm, I'm 100% confident he's going to bring what he's been bringing us all year. Okay, gentlemen, thank you.